Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jacob Wilson. Hey, listen, super glad you're at the channel. I've been doing research on gaining muscle, losing fat, exercise science for over two decades now, published over 250 papers. We own a lab, ASPI, which is 21,000 square foot high technology laboratory. And all the information that we learned with our team of scientists were given to you on this channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something really interesting, which is, should you intermittent fast every single day? Now you guys know, what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is when you restrict eating to a window of, some scientists say, as long as you restrict eating, you're not eating more than 12 hours, you're intermittent fasting. Now traditionally, we like to think about it as the sick classic 16-8 fast, fasting 16 hours, eating in an eight hour window. Should you fast every single day? Well, one of the things is, why does fasting work? Well, there's a study by Panda, one of the top researchers in the world on intermittent fasting, and he actually found that when you intermittent fast from normal eating, you naturally restrict your calories by about 20%, just naturally. And that means you're gonna get a calorie deficit, it means you're gonna lose body fat, right? And you can lose a lot of body fat, improve insulin sensitivity, all sorts of stuff. But should you do it every day? Well, if you're creating a 20% calorie deficit on average, the question is, should you calorie restrict every single day? And the answer is probably not. There's a study by Davuti, and they did what he called calorie shifting. You guys probably know it better as calorie cycling. And in essence, what you do here is what he did was, he had, look, he didn't do this exactly, but this, this is what I would recommend. Basically, you diet for five days, and then you raise your calories back up to maintenance or slightly above maintenance for two days, okay? Similar with intermittent fasting. Say you're doing 16-8, and this works with longevity and body fat, you would intermittent fast five days a week, and then two days you wouldn't. And I typically cycle that, right? So maybe you intermittent fast Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday you don't, right? then you intermittent fast Thursday, Friday, then maybe Saturday you don't, Sunday you're back on it, okay? Now, there are other ways to cycle your intermittent fasting. People will cycle their eating window. And we'll talk about this in later videos, but let's say you do a 16-8 intermittent fast. Say uh, uh, you might wanna increase fat loss, you do a 20-hour fast. You don't wanna do 20-hour fast every single day because you want a calorie cycle. So maybe three days a week, you do 16-8, two days a week, you do 20-hour fast, and then two days a week, you just do 12-hour fast. Again, what are you doing? You're calorie cycling, and that keeps your metabolism high rather than dieting every day. Hey, thank you so much. Listen, if you like this channel, like, subscribe, share. It's the best thing you do for us. I'll see you next time.